So in this video, we're finally doing some maintenance to my car. It's been a while since I actually like kind of drove it a little hard. I think the last time you guys saw that was when I did my Honda tune. And uh, now we finally have a couple new parts that we're gonna be throwing on to the car. So Andrew's already getting started with working on my car. We got some brand new Brembo brake pads. These are slightly less aggressive than the previous brake pads that I was using. Andrew and I both run EBC yellow stuff on both of our cars, on the Integra and the H Gen Civic. But uh, I feel like for me and him to actually kind of make things fair on the toge, I'm gonna get a little bit of a less aggressive brake pad so that I feel a difference to something a little bit more streetable, I guess. Well, just so you can't spam on the brakes, you know? Cause this guy just freaking brake dies into every corner cause he can brake that fast, you know? What can I say? I'm just a pro driver. Damn, are they really stuck in there? No, nah, I'm just trying to, uh... Oh, uh, close the pe uh, pistons? Yeah. Bro's about to dive right into my fender. Not only are we gonna be changing out the brake pads, but off camera, Andrew and I, well actually on camera, but we didn't really vlog it. Andrew and I and Bill, Surprisingly, Bill is in the area. He actually is letting me borrow a first molding hood for my car. He is doing the 8th Gen Civic FD2 conversion as well. Same thing like my car, but he is going a little bit more aggro. And I kind of am a little jealous that I didn't start off with that. But, you know, it's good to know that I did the OEM look. I rocked it for a couple years now, and I kind of want to get rid of it. And I want to do something slightly different as well. Mr. Celine Hoodie right here donated a first molding hood to the one and only organization, Seekers Club. You know, look at this. Let's point at this one. You about to smack right. Bill. Holy crap. Look at this. this thing is light as hell. I thought he had an aluminum hood for a second. He was like, you know, I'm too good for this Ventus stuff. You know, I think I don't think aluminum is supposed to stick. No. Nah. You got a steel hood, buddy. You got a steel hood. So we're about to throw this thing on to Jacob's car. Also for sale, by the way, if anyone's asking. <laughs> also for sale, because Jacob just swooped up this uh, first molding hood for free 99 from Bill. Yeah. And we're about to throw it on to see if it fits. I think, it, are you flipping around? I think with the mesh, it makes this fiberglass area right here just cut out more clean, I want to say, because it's probably molded in differently. Bill Civic right here is about to be FD2 converted as well. Now he's selling me this shit. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna FD go. RX7. Yeah, my RX... FD2 is gonna be for sale. And I'm gonna get RX7 FD. Look at this little bird shit, bro. I think it's time for me to replace the whole panel. It's actually not even. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's heavy, bro. It all weighs on me. All right, let's see if it fits pretty decent. Oh, Ooh, was that a nice click? That was a nice click. I think it clicks nicer than OEM. Oh, the gapping is actually pretty good. Let me see. Damn. Damn. This thing actually looks pretty goddamn sick. I see the vision. I actually kind of like the blue on black, too. Yeah. Damn. It, it low key looks kind of mean with the, the black with the black grill. It does look mm -hmm. cool. You know, because it kind of blends down a little bit. Damn. That should do look mad aggressive though. This is about $1,600 to get you. Is this hood actually $1,600? That was 11. Oh my 11? god. Oh, $1,100. Now I just got a free hood donated to me, so I do feel pretty generous. I mean, not generous. Out. I feel pretty grateful. Sorry. Grateful for the generous Bill Lamb. Good. Yeah, you're going to be doing all of <laughs> Damn. Hey, move it over here, Jacob. Well, I guess you don't really look OEM as hell now. That's fine. Hey, That's, fine. That's fine. How much does front end cost now? <laughs> One too many bucks. I think if I had like a little under lip too, you know, that uh, charge speed style. Dude. This is this is it. This looks nice. <laughs> you do it. <laughs> that was already. That mark was there already. Damn. Why is it so stuck? Uh, the paint is what got so hot it transferred onto the rotor. Oh my god. Damn, you melted the powder coat. Is that what happened? I guess so. Damn, Jeez. that shit's hot. We still got a whole bunch of life. Look at all that. Ah, it's okay, man. Look at all that. 
marked. Okay, man, that stress marks. That's how you know I go hard. So the pads that we decided to go with are just some Brembo ceramics. And uh, I think I just wanted to try something different. Just like the same reason with my tires. You know, I wasn't really learning much with the AO52s at the time. So that's why I went with the RT6. 15s, I almost said 660s, rather than just have like cheater tires. Same with the brake pads. EBC yellow stuffs are really good and everybody pretty much runs them. It's kind of like one of the track standards. And I kind of just want to get something a little bit, you know, less aggressive so I can just learn and progress instead of jumping into the deep end. I mean, these are the old brake pads. I mean, three millimeters left. If that. Yeah. It's time for these things to go. The hood looks super clean this is the exact hood that i want i'm probably going to be ordering this sometime later this year but dude this first molding hood is so sick now bill didn't get the the mesh covering right here nor did he get the rain covers or sorry not the rain covers the rain guards i'm gonna be planning on getting the extra rain guards and the mesh because it's only an extra hundred bucks i don't know why he didn't get it but uh anyway it's kind of cool that they added a, like a different like location for the hood prop as well and they still utilize that one for maintenance mode, just like on all the other Hondas. This thing looks super, super nice. So to close off this video, I'm just gonna do a very, very quick Q&A. Um, felt like I haven't done one of these in a long time. So uh, follow us on Instagram if you want to ask us some questions the next time I do a Q&A. Let's just get started. Uh, White Wizard 11 asks, worst car ever made? Definitely Andrew's Integra. Now nah, I'm just playing. Uh, definitely has to be the Ford Explorer. I don't really need to say anything more than that. Those things just scare the living shit out of me. And I'm sure it scares the living shit out of you guys too. EJ6Kai asks, was Toge Showdown an influence to y'all's Toge videos? So this is like best motoring, hot version, uh, option magazine, all that good stuff. Definitely, yes, they did influence a lot of our like current videos and stuff. But Andrew and I have been like driving on the Toge for like, I want to say since like 2016 ever since we got our license bill the homie bill was the one that influenced us to go on like back roads and stuff he was the one that said have you guys ever driven in the canyons before i know a spot we all went up with our dailies andrew and his blue tacoma bill and his tsx and me and my mercedes c230 and we just went up there and ever since we went up there we fell in love with the whole toge scene ever since good christian boy 1002 asks how does andrew keep getting the worst fucking haircuts honestly bro i tried my best to help andrew out he does not want to listen to me uh, if you guys have any hair tips hit him up because he honestly doesn't know what he wants to do with his hairstyle I don't know, bro. He just doesn't listen to me. He'll listen to you guys though Hajin asked will there be hoodies? Yes, there will definitely be hoodies in the near future I'm gonna start dropping collections rather than like individual pieces here and they're like oh a t-shirt here a hat here Stuff like that. I'm gonna stop doing that and uh, just release collections hoodies will definitely be out very soon So just be on the lookout for that Akis VQ35 said, sell me those TC4s. I'm local and I would use them for my FD2 conversion. I'll definitely let you guys know when I'll sell these TC4s. Uh, I actually have one of them just chilling right over here, right behind my bed. Um, this is the one that got freaking messed up. As you can see, the lug nut hose. I still need to run the TC4s on the rear of my car until I get the RE30s refinished. I'll definitely let you guys know when the TC4s are available to purchase. Angel XAZ asked, how did the two of you guys meet? Andrew and I were actually pen pals in the third grade. And uh, there's a photo of us right there behind my Chinese calendar. But uh, yeah, my mom dug up this photo somewhere. I don't know where she found this, but apparently Andrew and I were pen pals in third grade and I didn't even notice that. I can't even remember, but uh, my mom found that photo and asked, is that Andrew? And I was like, that's Andrew right there, which was crazy because I don't even remember him. And then when I asked Andrew about it, he was like, he didn't even remember me, but he remembered like some white guy, me being his pen pal, but he just couldn't remember who. That's how we met initially. And then we kind of just like became best friends at like middle school, high school era. You hear said one mod that you regret doing. Definitely the poly engine mounts on the S14. Definitely would not do that again. Uh, what are you doing, Whirly F asks, what are your favorite heel toe shoes, bro? Honestly, I wanna say Vans, old schools, as well as Converse Chuck 2. Straight out of the box, those are probably the best driving shoes just because like 
the midsole is just super thin and you can feel the pedals really well but lately i've been driving with air force ones a lot just because i love the silhouette yes i know the most basic shoe in the world i want to say air forces are my number one choice right now but only when they're like super beat up and super worn down. Next up, uh, Vitek Chavez asked, what motivated you guys to start Seekers Club? So this was around the time when I was like 15 years old. I wanna say back then when I was still in high school, Eliminate was a really big influence as well as TJ Hunt. Um, shout out to Randy, shout out to TJ. I doubt they'll ever see this, but um, yeah, they were a really big influence for me. The boy Suchi, what's up, Eric? He asked, who gives better head? I require proof. Eric, you know where we stay at. I'll show you what I can do. Fuck the cameras. I'll put in the work. Bring Griffin, bring Ethan, bring the whole squad. This is the real Suchi that you guys don't see. He just fucking does not care about me. If you guys want to see me pull up to Eric's and tickle those balls or something, drop a comment down below. Um, if you want to see more content, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.